Hey everyone, Bonnie here. Hopefully I'm doing this in the Oil Leadership Team Facebook page. I just tried hopping on to the Bee Live where I normally post so it could be nice and horizontal. It's not working, so I don't even have my stand. I can, I'll just try holding it for now. Um, but basically, I'm out of internet again, surprise. So we have guys downstairs working on the house, uh, working outside, so like it's been really insane. But I wanted to get on here and go over the placements like part two. So last week we talked about um, placements, new ranks, and um, how to move up, how to earn an income. Sorry, the lighting is like very, very bad. There we go. And so today I wanted to answer some questions that I got from last week. So um, we are going over all of this again. I'm not gonna go over all the details. I have an hour long video that I already made about it last week. Hi Mandy, thanks for getting on. Um, so one of the top questions, I'm gonna go back to the diamond page um, to, to answer the first question. And then leave, if you guys have a question, if you guys watch the video, um, leave it in the comment here live and I will answer it. Otherwise, I have only like three questions that I'm gonna get through and then um, we'll see what happens. But, so basically, we talked about this last week. Um, diamond is four silvers, right? Um, and yes, last week's video was more of the introduction, right? That's like the, the simple version, um, the simple full version and then um, I want to go over again some of the things. So one thing I did not go over last week that um, I wanted to make sure you guys knew is your qualifying legs, um, your leaders, like let's say you need your silvers or in the other ranks you have, um, let me actually get to the Premier page because I know we have a lot of people in this group trying to go for Premier. Who in here... Um, is trying to go for premiere and then also what rank are you going for? So maybe you're going for elite or executive or diamond or platinum, like silver. I want to hear the rank just so I, I know. Welcome, Stephanie. Hey, Mo hey, Mosey. Okay, so for premiere, okay, it is two qualifying legs with 2,000 points each, a cumulative of 5,000, right? Again, I'm not gonna go over all the details, I already did that last week, diamond, mosey, awesome. Um, I wanna share, and I, I wish I had my stand, I'm gonna put this down, I don't know where my stand is, because it's just two last minute, there we go, that works. These qualifying legs, let's say this person fell out, okay? Maybe they stopped ordering but this person has 2,000. As long as you have enrollment of this person, let's say you were putting everybody down in a line, your qualifying leg can be as many levels down. If you guys can see that. Okay, um, so basically your qualifying leg does not need to be your, your top level. Okay, it could be second or third or fourth. There's one girl on our team that all her qualifying legs are levels three or four down. Um, you know, based on what happens. Obviously that will screw up your um, power three, right? Um, that's why I always said I'd like to go for rank. Um, but if you need that instant cash, right? Um, try to set up your LR, your uh, power of three. But I wanted to make that clear because I don't want, if one person's, you know, not ordering or, or whatever, I don't want you freaking out thinking like you can't do this because of that person. Just, um, if you had a line stacked down, that second person could be your qualifying. Now, if this person, oh, excuse the lighting, it's so bad. If this person was enrolled to this person, they cannot be your qualifying. Like, you have to have enrollment of them, and for them to be qualifying, they have to have at least 100 PV, and you have enrollment, okay? Um, there are things that you can do to, to give enrollment to someone else. Again, this is the advanced version. Um, the first video about placements was... Um, way better. I'm gonna get a permanent marker. You guys can see it better. I have my purple one here. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to kind of go over with you guys is, um, so let's say you have enrollment of all these people, and then you, you know, you have enrollment of more people. 
all the way down. Let's say you're, you're building in, okay? Ideally, you're not, but that has happened and um, we've all done it. We've built out legs, right, to try to move up in rank um, at different times and different spots. Um, let's say, again, let's say you had enrollment of this person and then this person, um, or let's say, I'm just gonna, for an example, let's say you have enrollment of these two people. Oops, I forgot to do this one, there we go. You have enrollment of this person and you're gonna help this person to go premiere to help you gold, let's just say that. Okay, but you have enrollment of all of them. If you want, and if, like this would be a big blessing, right, to others, um, and I would do it if it helps you because you don't want to enable people. So I'm trying to say this in the right way because you do not want to enable people. Um, we've done that. I've done it a lot of times where you give up enrollment of somebody because you need it, right? But then that person ends up not growing because everything's been built for them. So you do want to be tricky about it. There's other leaders in doTERRA that will not do this at all. Um, I think you need to figure out what's best for you and what you want to do. So in this case, let's say you were trying to get to um, gold, let's say, and then you wanted this person to be premier and you had enrollment. You can give enrollment of this person and this person to this person, okay? Um, it's a email in to doTERRA placements saying you're gonna give this enrollment up and um, you're gonna give it to this person and it usually happens within like 24 hours. So you don't have to sign anything or anything like that. Um, and so you could do that, that would be a huge gift. If this person is working and wants to grow and maybe they're gonna build out then their third leg to become silver, um, that might be worth it, right? Because then let's say you need this leg to move up to gold, okay? Um, I wouldn't, I gave up a lot of enrollments in the beginning because I was enrolling a ton of people and I needed to um, have those people have enrollments so it can help everyone move up. I'm gonna be doing that a lot less now because I, my people are like so down low that I don't need them specifically to move up myself in rank, right? And because I've seen it, it helps people. I've seen it also enable a lot of people. Um, it, it helps people move up in rank on the paper, but they haven't been doing the work. I don't want that happening. I want people to want it as much as I do and grow their own business. So. Um, when you're deciding what to do about your enrollments, I really want you to do your own soul searching and figure out what you want for your business. I don't know how to make that sound better. I'm not trying to be like <laughs> holding enrollments of everybody, but it is um, better, I think, if, if you have your team grow their own teams because they're taking ownership of their business, right? And if you happen to have people underneath you, that's a big blessing, right? I wouldn't expect it. Oh, now my, finally, my internet just popped back up. <laughs> um, no one ever put anyone on my team. I don't expect it. You know, if you want something to go out and get it, but let's say you do have people underneath you, um, talk to the person who put them there and say like, are we working together or, or not? Um, it's just always considered a blessing, right? Um, and then that leads me to the next thing. I'll just go on this page. Um, I don't need it. I don't think I need this for that. When somebody joins your team, everybody's on the top level, right? So actually, I will draw this out. So in the back office, if you go to team and then um, team and then it goes, I like to look at the graphical tree. So it's team and the graphical tree. You are starting here and then you have a front line. No one's on it when you first join, right? And then when someone joins, they go on your front line. Let's say you've enrolled a lot of people, okay? Purple are gonna be wellness advocates. Green are wholesale customers, okay? Everybody's on your front line, okay? Then you go to team sponsor change. So team is at the top, sponsor change is on the side, and you will see all the people you've enrolled within the, the 14 days, and you can click on um, their idea of where you want to put them. So let's say you have your advocate. You want all these people moved under here. Maybe you have two advocates, right? Um, now you can move this person under here, and then you have moved these people. One, two, three. Then that's how you would structure that. 
I'm trying to make this as like easy as I can. Hopefully it's making sense. If you've been doing this, this video is like totally easy. And if you're brand new, um, then it, it hopefully is not confusing, right? Um, okay, so now let's say this person decides to upgrade to an advocate and they, they joined under 90 days. They are going to stay here. They're stuck here. Okay, but now let's say this person is amazing. Like it's been, let's say it's been 91 days after 90 days and they're like, I'm gonna do this business and they're the CCs, they have all the characteristics, you know they're gonna be awesome and this business is growing great. Um, remember all these people moved, so they're gone. Um, if they upgrade after 90 days, then you can move them anywhere you want. Um, you'll get an email from doTERRA, um, sometimes I see them in the back office or sometimes I just get an email saying they upgraded and then I have to email doTERRA to say where I want them. Um, but let's say you want this person. They're so awesome. They're your best friend. You're going to like rock and roll. They, they're not connected to these people at all. No one's been working with them. Um, you can move it to your front line. Okay, so that's an advocate. So basically if someone moves upgrades after 90 days, you can move them wherever you want. If it's under 90 days, they're stuck there. Okay, so then that spot just goes away, okay? And then maybe this person will upgrade and you can also put them on that team or whatever you wanna do, depending. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I know this is like the worst art class drawing, uh, but, but that's what I wanted to make sure you guys knew. Um, okay, I'm just gonna look at my questions. Another question that I got uh, from doing that video is, um, placeholders and ghost legs. So we did not talk about this and it's something that I actually don't know a ton about. I used a ghost leg. I won't even say it's a ghost leg. Um, my first month, my elite leg, I would, it wasn't like a real, like awesome leg. I used my mother-in-law to build out that third elite and there was over 3000 points in it. And um, I needed it for that rank, but she wasn't necessarily going to do the business. She's still in there. I've got to move her. Uh, but then the second month, Becky came in, and so she took that spot. So I wouldn't say that was a ghost leg or a placeholder, but she took that spot. Um, and now for my for my fifth leg, um, I have I do have a placeholder, somebody who is there. They're not ordering anything. Um, and then I'm building underneath that person a, a little bit. And then when I have someone come in, basically what I'm going to do is there's a new spot in doTERRA's back office where you can um, do placements and swaps and whatnot. And so I'm going to have a person. I already have a person in mind um, who I want <laughs> and, and she wants it too, but uh, it's just not the right timing. And so she's a customer. She's been using the products for like a year um, what we'll do is we will swap her out and put her into that spot, but it has to be signed and everything done within three days of each other. So basically you can have someone holding a spot. So let's say you first join and you have no one to do the business with you. Okay. And, and I really only want to do this if you, if you absolutely necessary. I, I always like finding regular people to do this. Um, that's why I really haven't had any placeholders in the business so far, but there's people on my team who do because they haven't found the right person. Um, or someone backed out and they held their spot. There's always different reasons. But anyway, I want you to know all your options. So let's say this is you and um, everyone's saying no to you or, or maybe they're just not qualified or whatever the reason. Um, you can actually put in your sister, your mom, whoever, um, it cannot be a spouse, um, and and they can hold your spot, and you can. But the, the catcher is, you have to say you can never do the business. Like you don't want them to what. Like if, let's say it started making checks, the the spot. You don't want them to say actually no. I'm just going to keep this spot because they're actually not doing the business. They're just collecting checks. So so there's a negative of that. So it has to be someone that like. Do you promise you're never going to want to do the business? <laughs> and then. Um, you know, and then they can, they can go there. So they have to sign up as an advocate. It's $35. You would pay it because it's your business. Um, 
so for my spot, my placeholder, it's not moving up in rank or anything. Um, so it doesn't even place an order. It just is there for $35. It just sits there until I need it. Um, or if you never use it, let's say the person you put underneath there is awesome. And after a year of being inactive, that person can just go away and move everyone up. Okay. There's other videos on YouTube that are like really good. And you like, if you really want to know the placements, I would spend some time watching videos. Like that's what I did. I did. I watched a ton of videos. Um, but anyway, so, um, you, your placeholder, now you have an advocate or, or maybe, cause maybe they're like, you're not sure if they're very serious and you don't want to use up your front spot on them. Or, uh, maybe some people go crazy. They have two placeholders and then they'll put their shares or their customers. Let's say they, they want to, they want to build right and they'll put, um, they'll save it for an awesome rock star and then a share. It's like a builder share and then start putting their customers here, right? Cause that will eventually help them to move up better in the long run. Okay. Depending on what rank they want to get to, right? So if you want to get to diamond, this needs to be a silver. So this needs to be an elite. So this needs to have 3000 points and this could be one of their people that you can move out. It's just, there's different strategies. Again, this is not to confuse you, but just to let you know there are options. So people would call these placeholders or ghost spots. They're just somebody holding a spot. Most likely they're not collecting checks unless you gave enrollment of these people to this person to help you. But hopefully by then you found a um, person, right? By then. Um, if this person is ordering and you're placing, they're not going to make anything on these people because you are doing the fast start, but they will start earning commissions after 60 days when these unit level kick in. So if they are ordering 100 points a month, find someone within 60 days. Otherwise, they're going to start earning, uh, getting income and maybe they want to sit on their nice cozy spot, right? Um, there's just different things. Anyway, that's why I don't like placeholders, but... Um, they have been very beneficial for other people getting started who they don't know where to put their people. So that's a good problem. You have all these customers and people coming in. That's a good problem. Um, especially if you have customers coming in and um, you don't want anyone on your, you don't want customers on your front line. The last thing too, let's say you don't have a placeholder, but you have a lot of, um, again, you, your first line. And let's say you have a lot of customers coming in. Let's say you did an awesome class and you have all these customers. I would go to them and say, let you, you know, like of all the people, we have 14 days, talk to them. Who loves their oils? Who could see themselves doing this? Or who wants to host a class or whatever? Then have that person upgrade and move everybody under them. At least you have one person, right? You're taking your chances every single time you put someone in your business. Um, but again, if that person doesn't work out, you can still keep building down. Okay. Um, the last question I got, and is this making sense? Give me a, a comment if it's helping or, um, or thumbs up, seeing the thumbs up and hearts. Okay. Um, the last question that I got is how do I ask people to join me in business or specifically in the beginning, right? Um, so when I first got started, I was telling you guys the last time I was more business focused and I was, was very strategic on how I did this. Um, I think the way I did it was a little bit trickier because I was coming out of another business and you, you have to be really careful about what you do when you go from one business to the other business. And I didn't want to be that person who company hops because that's certainly not me or, um, you know, my intention or anything like that. So I had to talk to people who were um, not in that other business and, um, you know, just very sensitive. So anyway, so I did do, I had a strategy and I'll tell you what my strategy was. Um, and then you can take it and run with it or you can do your own strategy. Um, again, it's just what works for you. But mine was very simple. It's like you're going to laugh when you hear how simple it was, but it worked. Um... And it's how I got all my top line people. <laughs> um, I messaged them on Facebook because that's like my main communication with these girls who I asked. And I just said in a very simple message, I said, I have an idea that I want to run by you. Can we get on the phone? That was it. 
that was it. I didn't tell them about doTERRA. I didn't um, spew my information all over the place. It was very strategic on um, getting them on the phone because when you're on the phone with someone, again, you can hear those guys, they said by Friday they should be done. Oh my gosh. So um, after this video, I'm going to do a house update, but then no more, no more men in the house, no more loud noises, no more internet problems. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back to normal again. I just have to figure out where I'm going to put my desk, so that'd be my biggest problem. But anyway, so I would get on the phone with them. They said, they all said, yes, they're going to get on the phone with me. Now, it wasn't just I had these three or four people. My list, I had like 30 people that I was like, I would love these people to be on my team, right? Um, and then like to have a bill, to get, I, wanted to, I wanted to have 12 people say yes. Okay, that was my goal. 12 people did not say yes, but um, I wanted 12 people, so I'm like, I better ask more. Like, I should have asked 100, right? Or is this a good note to myself to keep doing that again because um, it was this huge, massive push. And it wasn't just that. That was just the original push, and then I did a sampling of 100 people, and I did different pushes throughout, so it wasn't just like these were the only things I did. I did a lot, but um, I got on the phone with them, and I then I went through what I was doing. I said, hey, like, first of all, I'm like, I thanks for getting on the phone with me. Um, I, there is something I wanna talk to you about, but first let's catch up for five minutes because I haven't talked to them. Like, Nikki, I hadn't talked to her. Like, we hadn't seen each other in 12 years. But we only talked once on the phone um, in that 12 years. Otherwise, it was just Facebook messages or commenting and photos. It wasn't like I knew her. We lived in, um, you know, different states at that time you know so there there was like a need to build that relationship again right but it wasn't weird I told them exactly what I need to talk to you about something but let's catch up first for five minutes we catch up and then I would say hey uh, I'm in transition I'm starting a new business and I'm looking for two to three top key players that I want to work with right and and I'm working you know I'm going to be partnering with doTERRA um this is what I'm looking for. And then I went through my list. I had my list right in front of me, right? Because I was nervous too, of like, oh my gosh, what if I sound like an idiot, right? I have the same fears everyone else has. So I had my list in front of me and I'm like, I'm, I'm looking for women ages 35 to 45. If they're married, they have a supportive spouse. I like literally read them that whole list of stuff that we talked about in the last video. Natural minded, entrepreneurial, um, you know, financial need, whatever. And then I said, and I, and I thought of you because... And then, um, since we're picking on Nikki for a second, <laughs> I'll go back to her. Um, you are very entrepreneurial. You know, you get more done that in one day than most people get done in like a month, really. Um, you know, you're just, you're, you're focused, you're talented, you know, all the things. And those are real things. And each person I talked to, I made those things specific about them, right? Um, because one, people can smell BS right? So I want to be real, but also letting them know, they're like, oh yeah, I am, I am those things, you know, I would be good at this. Um, and then they're feeling affirmed and then, you know, they're just like, oh yeah, I am. And, and it just, it starts the call off really, really nice and sincere and letting them know why I thought of them. And I'm not just talking to anybody, right? So if you just put a Facebook thing out, like, oh my gosh, first person to sign up gets the best spot or whatever, like it's not this lame. And it just shows desperation. Like here, it shows that I have all these people and all this network and I am talking to them because I'm thinking of them for these reasons, right? So I think it sounds a bit more professional and more caring um, and intentional than um, please join me, I'm desperate. I need to fill the spot, right? That is lame. <laughs> so... Um, and so then I, I tell them that I said, have you ever like thought about this? And then I just listen and then they can either say yes or no, right from there. Um, and then most of the time they would say yes, like, or I don't know, like what, I need more information. Actually, that's what everyone says. I need more information. So that's when I said, great. Like my, I'm not going to give them all the information on that call. That call was just a quick call to make another call. Right, this was a process, a, a process of doing all these things. Um, and so that call, I said, okay, the next step is to do a three-way call. 
with my upline, right? Or I didn't use the upline word because that's gross, but I said with my partner, we're gonna do an upline call and uh, a get to know you call, right? Or if you guys are doing these calls, bring these people to your upline or whoever, however many levels up of people who are doing them and everyone should be doing them, they're so easy. Um, and, or up to me or anyone that's on your upline can be doing these with you, right? Um, but if you're on our team, I could do them with you too. So the first call then, so my, my goal for that was just to get them on the call with, for the next call. Like it was just to set up an appointment for the next call. That was it. And then the first call is a get to know you call where you just get to know them, ask them a lot of questions. I have all of the questions that we ask them in the oil leadership team page. So you know all the questions. They're right there. Basically just finding everything out about them and what they want in life. And um, you're finding out if doTERRA is good for them and if you even want them. There are some, there have been some people that I've gotten the phone with and after I started this conversation, I was about to ask them or tell them that I was thinking about them and like the vibe was really off and so I didn't even bring it up. I'm like, eh, actually I don't really want you on my team so we didn't even talk about it. <laughs> so you can do that. You can be in charge of who you bring on, right? And then there's a lot of people that said no to me. They're like, nah, I'm just not interested. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to work. I already have a job and I'm doing nothing else. And and I got a lot of no's, so be prepared for no's. Like I have a huge list and um, again, not everyone's gonna say yes. So picking on Nikki again, I just love her, she's so awesome. Um, she was our no, she was one of my no's. So she said, no, thanks so much. Like she's like, I'm honored, like right? Cause you're honored after you ask somebody in such a great way. Oh, let me, come, let me come back to that story. It's a good story, but I wanna go over the next call. So the first call is that, then after the end of all of that, of getting to know them, the next call would be the call where we just went over everything. I kind of explained this in the last video, but I want to kind of go over it because I was getting questions on how to just ask them to that call. So that is it. That, that's how I ask them to the call. Super easy. Um, the call doesn't take a long time. And in that first call, I am not telling them everything I know about doTERRA. Ever. I never tell anybody everything I know about doTERRA. Um, I, if they ask what doTERRA is or, or, or whatever, um, I just say a few things and I'll say this is my story and I'll just share a personal story. Um, they, a few times people have asked for a website and my response to that is, sure, I'd love to give you a website. You know, I can give them my doTERRA website. And I'll say, but that's just a stagnant website. Like, that's just a page. But what I really want to do is connect with you over the phone so we can actually connect. Like, it's hard to connect through just a website, right? Um, okay, so I'm reading Mosey's call. So then, call two is your answer, but I'll, I'll say it out loud. So then the call two is after we go through all of this stuff. And then I would ask them what the goals are. I'll say, well, where do you see yourself? in this like where what it would be your short-term goal your long-term goal and they've just laid i just laid out the whole thing that i did last week right elite and silver and diamond and they're all like oh i definitely am going to be at diamond and you know most people say that little people actually mean it but i want to see where their head is at or if they're like oh presidential or um oh i think i think i'll be an elite that will also help you to know where to, to place them but then you say okay Great, let's get you started. And then I'm like, are you by a computer? They're like, yes or no. I'm like, okay, great. Go to my website. And then I will have them enroll right on the phone with me because I want them to enroll and do it right. Um, so they would enroll after call two. If they need anything else in between, like a sample or whatever, that's fine. Um, this is the push I did in the beginning where I was just like, you're coming into the business. like. My business was growing so fast, I didn't have time to like, for, for people who were like wishy-washy, I not that I didn't have time for them, I did, but I'm like, I have other people that are ready to get in. So it was an urgency thing. Um, and, and, I, and I think that energy and that momentum sh was like shown and felt that, like I wasn't gonna just sit there and like sample you to, you know, of course I want them to sample and they all tried the oils or loved them or they've tried oils in the past. But I'm not going to be begging anyone to join me, okay? So especially in the beginning, like if you have top spots available, you jump on them or you lose that spot, basically. And so that's the posture I had with them. 
um, because I knew that I, I was going to be big and I wanted them to be big. Like I only wanted people who wanted to be big on my top line. Does that make sense? So, um, but if, if you've already been in it for like a year or half a year or whatever, and you're like, oh my gosh, my people are not doing anything. That's okay. They don't have to be your qualifying people. You can build underneath them, you know? Um, you never know when people are going to come back from the dead too. Um, but now I've grown a lot through social media where people don't get to all those calls. I do more calls with my team bringing people to me than I do with myself, which as I'm saying this, I am really thinking I just should do my own little push again, right? Because it just worked awesomely. Um, it takes a lot of time. Like I spent a lot of time on the phone because I was weeding out a lot of people, right? A lot of people said no. I hope you don't think that just because I talked to someone, they said yes right away. There's a lot of no's. And some of them, I'm like, I just can't believe you're saying no to this awesome opportunity. But that's, my belief was so high. If they said no, I literally am like, you're dumb. <laughs> so if they're listening, sorry. But um, they, they, they had to have a really good reason. Or just like, I just don't understand you. Why would you say no? Like, it just doesn't make sense. But anyway, now a lot of people come through, through the website, through social media, and they don't even go through all those calls. Now they'll go through the call after they join or... Um, you know, or just watch a video or something. Um, I don't want to be rude. Hopefully you guys don't think that I was rude. It's just not their time yet. But if they went and got through the points of all of this stuff and they still said no, I really don't know why they would say no. Um, but everyone has their season, right? I used to say no to oils. So I was one of those people. I can say that. I used to say no way. No oils. They're fake. They don't, they don't do anything. And then I converted. So um, anyway, um, let's see. Okay, I, I'm getting questions and then, oh, let me go back to Nikki's story too, just for some motivation for people. So she was one of the people that said no, and I didn't think she was dumb. <laughs> I loved her. She was having her eighth baby. So that's the reason why she can't join. She was like, I would love to, but I have, I'm just having my eighth baby. I'm like, okay, that is a reason if, if there was a reason, right? <laughs> uh, she homeschools, they're having an eighth kid. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, but I wanted her, you know, how you could just tell you're like, oh my gosh, this person's going to be awesome. I just love them. And, um, they're just, you just think they're going to be awesome. You just know it in your, your heart. Um, I worked on her, so I sent her oils and I sent her the diffuser and the book, which normally I don't send that much stuff. Normally I would just send samples, but with this girl, like I wanted her, um, and then she tried the oils and like her lavender experience with Cypress and, um, sleeping was like amazing. So we scheduled, I actually gifted all that to her and then we scheduled our wellness consult and I'm like, she's going to talk to me about the business. I just know it. And so we got on the call to talk about the wellness consult and the oils and she's like, tell me about the business. I'm like I knew that was going to happen. Right. But I matured it. It was like months later, months, right. You can't give up on people. And then when she came on, I said, you want to go big? Um, because at the same time I had just hit platinum. So I had three silvers and Nikki, like knowing her and everything she can have, I'm like, you can do silver in your first month. So then she hit silver in her first month, which is my, my fourth diamond, ah, fourth silver, which is how I hit diamond. Cause I didn't know how I was going to do it. And then she came in and I'm like, this is meant to be right. So that's kind of the backstory. Um, but that's just one example of someone saying no and then months later turning into a yes and then hitting diamond in 11 months, okay? Um, okay, let's see. Let me get into these questions. Um, a lot of questions. So, Mosey, so second call. But she asked when do they usually enroll, second or first call. Second call, if I do with this process. I have done this exact thing on... Um, line. So I did private sneak peek groups where I'm like, if you're not enrolled with doTERRA, come into my group and let's see what it's about. And I like did a get to know me and then I did a get to know them. And then I did, um, I had them watch some doTERRA videos. Like each day I had them do different things. And then one of the days I got on there and I drew it out for them. And then I'm like, they can join anytime during the week or within the last day of the week. I would say, here it is. Or maybe give them an incentive. Thanks for joining. Um, now, like you've seen it, what are your goals? If you join today, you'll get this on top of doTERRA special, you know, 
um, that worked out well. So it's not always on the phone. So I've done the sneak peek weeks. Um, and then I put my videos up on YouTube. So people are finding out this information already, like on their own. Um, you don't have to do it this way. I'm, I'm just showing some of the things that I've done. Or they love the oils so much that they just upgrade themselves. Or they like our community and our Facebook groups. And they're like, I want to be part of this. I want to do it. So then, then they do that. So it's, it doesn't have to be this way. But when I first started, the people I, I was able to talk to were limited. I couldn't talk to my old network because they were in another company that was off limits, right? Um, I, I just, I couldn't even like post about it online really because I was trying to be sensitive, like give myself a grace period before I could talk about it again. So I had a lot of um, things and I had, there was people mad at me for leaving and joining the company. I mean, I had a lot of craziness. I'm not going to go into it, but everyone has adversity and like hardships and, and people saying things or um, it's just, it's not always easy, but that was like drive to keep going. So I did it this way in the beginning because that was the only way I had to go to each person one by one. But if you do a class or if you do things online and people are coming to you, you can do it right away. If they're ready to join right away or they go to your website right away, I'm, I'm going to sign them up that day. Like I'm not going to say stop and let's go through the process because they're ready to join. I'm not going to stop them. Oh, wow. This is going way longer than I thought. I thought this was going to make a short one. Um, great. I'm glad you're liking it. You're welcome. Alicia says, I'm so happy you are taking the time to make these videos. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, Alicia. Um, let's see. Mosey says, do you get more people who want to build through your website or Facebook page? Um, Facebook page or Instagram? Pretty much. I don't think anyone goes to my website. <laughs> so I just use that as a landing spot for all my work. But if you're brand new, do not, I won't even waste time with the website. It's on Instagram. Um, Facebook and things have changed throughout so like in the beginning it was a lot of Facebook and the Facebook groups but now I'm finding I get better interaction through Instagram um, in my my insta stories and my uh, insta live so um, it just it just seems to go in waves right and you have to go where your people are um, although my big summer thing I'm doing is I'm doing a summer school where July and August I am going to be posting little videos every day, Monday through Friday, for two months. Little, I mean like little, like short one-minute videos, um, probably with my kids in like in the background. And um, I will do that on my Facebook page, Essential Oils for Moms, and then my Instagram, Bunny Downhill. Okay. And by the way, I just want to let you know these videos are coming to an end. Um, not for good, but for the summer, because we are, as a community, our whole group, we're going to be doing the Presidential Diamond videos, which they're going to be way better than these videos, trust me. <laughs> I can't wait to learn from them. So I put the registration link in our Facebook group, but that's like with the the awesome, awesome leaders. Um, that's July and August, and there's prizes, there's activities, you're incentivized to do one class a week or one one-on-one -on -one a week. Um, and they're just awesomeness. So our whole team is going to be doing those. And so I'm going to be, I don't want to have too much training, especially in the summer. So I'm going to stop these and then we can start these back up again um, after that is done. Because I don't want to do too much training. Like, especially if you guys do have kids at home, like, I'd rather have you in action than training, right? Because you're going to be with your kids those other times. Um, anyway, so that's why, that's why I'm going to do stuff every day short things to maximize my time um, and to make it look like I'm always like on but I'm only gonna be on for like a minute or two and then get off and then I'll put it up on YouTube and whatever and so it'll look like I'm always there but I'm really not gonna be always there um and you guys know all my stuff's automated so I'm actually not always on it just looks like it which is awesome so um Okay, I have a friend who has said no twice, but I'm not giving up on her. Mosey said that. So, yeah, you know, especially if it's someone that you want, you um, don't give up on anybody, ever. Um, never mind, I won't say that. I was going to say something, but... <laughs> uh, it's always, you have to be careful what you say online, because it's always there, right? Um, okay, sneak peek. 
Mosey says this. Okay, sneak peek. I'm planning one of those. Going to model Becky's from November. Perfect. Um, and then once you do it, you don't have to redo it. You can use the same videos and just post it, you know. Um, and I have an old group if you guys want to find it on Facebook. Sneak peek with Bonnie Donahue. I haven't done it in a while. I'm getting myself ideas right now by doing this call with you guys. <laughs> um, do do you have suggested posts for a sneak peek group? Go to my, Stephanie, go to my group and let me, I'll let you in. Um, let me see what it's called exactly. It's been a while. I need to do it again. Maybe I'll do it one in the fall. It actually does work. It's called Wellness Advocate Sneak Peek Bonnie Donahue. That's what it's called. When I had people answer questions to get in, um, so you could do that. And then Mosey says she was registered. Yeah, so register for the presidential training. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be doing it too. I'm going to be doing my classes, um, the, one, the one a week, right? So that is it for today. This was way longer. I just had a couple of notes jotted down, but it went good. Oh, I see that you already joined. You're quick. You're quick, Stephanie. I'll let you in as soon as I get off of here. All right, guys, let me know if you guys have any other questions or what you want to see in the next couple of weeks before um, my videos come to an end for the summer. So my kids get out June 22nd. So maybe one or two more weeks of these, and then we'll take over the other trainings. So, all right, you're welcome, guys. I'm getting a lot of comments saying that you liked it. And I hope you guys all know, too, I post these videos on YouTube. Um, just search Bonnie Donahue. And so if you're ever feeling like you miss me over the summer, just binge watch <laughs> and you can get your full dose of all your good training. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. Have an awesome day. Bye guys.